welcome to our youtube channel uh, i just noticed that i've never told you my name my name is marcy i'm going to guide you through the tutorial on how to make uh, the maroon dress that we chose in the community tab uh, before we get into the dress uh, i would like to thank those who've subscribed to our youtube channel and for those who are joining us for the very first time please hit the subscription button and uh, ring the bell so that you are notified on other videos coming forth and uh, please check our uh, social media platforms we are on instagram uh, at uh, give me life africa underscore and then on facebook we have a page and a group it goes by the name give me life africa and uh, youtube of course now we are going directly into making the dress and do, these are the things that we need to have when we are making the dress. I'm going to use a 2.5 millimeter crocheting hook. I'm going to use a darning needle to do the finishings. We will also require a tape measure. It's uh, really cheap and it's a basic requirement in this one. Get one. Then we will need scissors to do the finishings. And the type of yarn we are using today is um, the less yarn. We are going to use the less yarn. I'm going to use uh, our local less yarn. It's here. It's also an embroidery yarn. Size number three. For those from the US and uh, the likes, it's size number 10. Or a less yarn, size number 10. Now, before we get into crocheting, this is how our dress will look like. We are going to crochet from down here up to the uh, top and then we make these ruffles down here as the last uh, bit of the tutorial. So this dress is going to fit a 46 uh, inches uh, hip size, size 46. The waist size uh, will be size uh, 42 and the bust will be size 44. So this is what, uh, these are the measurements of the dress that you're going to make. And uh, I'm going to work a 56 inch uh, long size. So I'm making a maxi of uh, this type of dress. Yeah, basically that is what we need to know. And uh, Let's get into making the dress. I'm going to use double strand of my lace yarn and I'm going to make a chain of um, 208. Those are multiples of 3 plus 1. So 69 multiples of 3 plus 1. It gives me 208 uh, chains. So we begin 1, 2, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So here we are, 208 chains. Now we are going to join uh, these chains into a circle. So ensure you don't uh, twist them run your finger through and then join with a slip stitch into the very first chain so this is what we have our tape measure now comes in we want to measure and see uh, the size that we have so we are at 25 this is uh, 50 now that uh, the secret to this is uh, it's telling us it's hip size 50 but when you make half double crochets uh, the dress tends to pull together. It reduces by size, so it will definitely fit the hip size 46. So we will take 
another uh, another thing that we need to know is for those who want to adjust this dress to their various uh, hip sizes you only require you're only required to make a chain that uh, fits your hips loosely and then you as long as there are multiples of three let it fit your hip size loosely and then you you ensure it's in multiples of three and you're good to go so I will begin with a half double crochet. We are working half double crochets uh, in the skirt part. Most of the skirt part we will be working half double crochets. So I will chain one and work a half double crochet into the very first chain. As I always say, I don't like uh, coming back to weave in the ends. So I work on it and finish it off so we are going to work half double crochets all round Let's meet at the end of this round. So this is our final um, chain. You're going to ha work a half double crochet. And then I love working at the foot of uh, the previous round that we did so that we don't have a gap. You see, if I work this way, we will have a big gap here. So I love working down here. So make a half double crochet also. And uh, we are not finishing off the round with a slip stitch. We are going to work uh, without... Uh, having without joining the, the joining the rounds so you're going to work continuously so i will work here half double crochet so we are working on the front loops of our uh, our chains our previous round so it's a front loop only so half double crochet into the front loop so these are the two loops that we usually work into but in these we are going to work into the front loop so half double crochet half double crochet don't mind the noise in the background mm, yeah the children are playing half double crochet so we are going to work front uh, loop half double crochets so work all round and then we will meet at the end of this so this is the end of the round we said we are not working slip stitches we will just continue uh, I know many of you may be wondering why I'm not using stitch markers. Uh, because we are working continuously, when we get to the uh, 15 inches, I will show you how to go about uh, ma maneuvering around the stitch markers. So just work continuously, uh, work on the front loops only, and work half double crochets. So you will do this, work all round, for 15 inches so 15 inches is roughly let's say 50 or so rounds i am not very certain so let's say three rounds make an inch 15 will be 45 so let's say 45 to around 50 50 rounds so work all those rounds and then get back so here we are i have worked uh, 15 inches so this is where I am. We are going to reduce this waist part. We are now working here. I have done 15 inches up to this part. So I'm going to do this 5 inches. 
so this is what we do you are working on the round so wherever you find yourself with 15 inches it's fine i am not usually very particular so let's assume this is the end of our round now i am going to work uh, to work two half double crochets together so and remember we are working on the front loops so i will work a half double crochet I yarn over, I work in the next. So I have five loops in my hook. I yarn over and work through. So we have worked two half double crochets together. In short, we have reduced. I will work uh, nine more half double crochets. So one two front loops only three four five six seven eight nine so we have nine half double crochets in the next two i will uh, decrease this next two so i will work two half double crochets together so half double crochet yarn over and in the next i have five loops yarn over pull through all these five so we have a decrease here we have nine half double crochets and another decrease here we are also going to work nine more half double crochets two three four five six seven eight and nine and then we do a reduction here so this is it now we will do this up to this uh, first decrease that we did here so work around until you get to the decrease you will you will see it so this is our very first uh, decrease that we did now we are going to continue uh, we remember we are working continually it's a continuous uh, round uh, we will keep working for the next uh, three inches that is roughly eight rounds of uh, these half double crochets on the front loops so it's uh, you keep half uh, making half double crochets on the front loops and uh, after you work for three inches uh, come back and we will make another decrease so you should be having roughly 190 stitches on your on your hook so in this round you're going to make a further decrease but we are going to work with uh, multiples of 10 we have 190 so that means we will have uh, decreased uh, 38 uh, stitches that is 19 divided by 2 yes so we would have uh, decreased 19 stitches so in this one we will work uh, half double crochets together then work eight half double crochets remember we're working on the front loops don't forget that part so we have worked five this is six seven and eight so in the next two we will make a decrease this is it we have decreased then we work another eight two three four five six seven and eight in the next two we will work a decrease and here we are so work uh, this decreases all through the round when you get to the very first um, decrease that we did uh, we will meet here so this is our very first uh, decrease now we are going to work the half double crochets on the front loops for the next two 
inches. That is roughly five to six rounds. So work half double crochets on the front loop and at the end of this round you will have an estimate of 171 stitches. But whichever number you get, uh, don't get worried. So this is what we have. We have worked 21, uh, 20 inches from the beginning to this part. This is the waist part. We have worked 20 inches. Thank you so much for watching this part one. Stay tuned. Ring the bell so that you're notified when we are posting next then the part two, how we will work uh, the, up, the upper part of uh, this dress. Thank you very much. And remember to subscribe if you've not subscribed and visit our other social media platforms. Thank you.